YouTube, we got film react. Psycho family has chosen the wrong guy to be kidnapped for one night. At the beginning of the film, we are shown an incident that occur in Finland, where a young girl named Alia is running from several men in the forest. Alia. It turns out that the men who are chasing Alia are actually members of her own family. What the hell? What the fuck? Okay. She then plunges into the lake, but the men manage to catch her before she drowns. After that, the scene moves to a bank where a man named Rex is waiting in line for a certain purpose. Not sure why he's there, but it's clear that he's there to see Maddie his crush. While Rex is talking to her, their place is suddenly attacked by robbers who instantly killed a security oh, guard at the bank. Hey, As a yo. result, the situation which was previously calm has now become tense. Rex then notices a gun in a woman's bag, but the woman can't do anything because it is too risky for her to act in such a dangerous situation. Right, Auto. When everyone is under threat, Rex suddenly behaves strangely, where it looks like he tries hold his emotions in order not to act rashly. But something unexpected happens, where the woman's bag containing the gun is suddenly thrown, and lands right on Rex's lap. After that, the scene moves to a courtroom. Not sure what has happened but Rex is suddenly sued by the judge for slaughtering all of the robbers at the bank earlier. Despite the fact that he saved many no. lives during that incident and is considered as a hero, but he's still sentenced to 8 years in prison. So he ended up using the gun. 8 okay. years later, we are Why shown eight, Rex eight, who has been released damn. from prison, staring at a magazine that has a picture of his own face. For the time being, it appears in the magazine that he is still considered as a hero due to his heroic acts 8 years ago. That's good. After Rex gets out of prison, he is not being shunned by society, but instead he is always noticed by the public and chased by reporters. Oh, no, that's annoying. This of course makes Rex feels uncomfortable, and it is at this point that his own conscience or a different side of himself appears in the physical realm. Huh? As we can see, his alter ego has a more emotional nature than himself. As soon as Rex realizes he can no longer bear their presence, he gets to his feet and throws his desk at the entire group. That's the devil right there. That's but in the reality, devil. it is all just his imagination is. acting as a release for his emotions due to his current stress. Although Rex is widely regarded as a hero, but still there are some people who don't like his heroic efforts and Damn. regard him as a psycho twat. Who the, who the fuck, but still who? there are some people who don't like his heroic Jamie Fox? heroic efforts and regard him as a psycho twat. Rex then goes to see his friend and says that he is fed up with his life now, which is no longer normal because so many people are drawn to him. As a result, he finally decides to leave the city where he lives now and move to Finland. Plus, the reason Rex wants to go to Finland is very rational, because when he was in prison, he shot a spitball and it landed right in Finland. After that, the scene what? moves to a forest which shows a man running from the pursuit of several people. I don't people. think that's a valid reason to go to The people who Finland, are chasing bro. the man look like the people at the beginning of the film. This means that these entire incident Damn. takes place in Finland, which will also be Rex's next destination. The man is then forcefully pulled by a strong creature that sounds terrifying. Bro, well, where is this going? Where the hell is we this going? We back to Rex. He is now already at the airport. And as usual, there's a guy who starts to record him. Moreover, Rex also notices that there's a husband and wife oh, no. keeping an eye on him. When things start to get noisy again and people start filming him, he becomes more and more annoyed, and he eventually decides to go to the restroom. Smart. However, it appears that the couple's husband is already in the toilet, and is staring at Rex while he is peeing in the restroom. And when Rex returns to his seat, the strange couple's wife gives him a creepy smile. Right, I would have smiled back at her. After Rex arrived in Finland, he is waiting for a taxi, and from a distance there is a taxi driver is watching him. The taxi driver immediately cuts through another taxi line and stops right in front of him. When Rex is in his taxi, the driver then releases the anesthetic gas, which causes wow. him to become unconscious and eventually pass out. Hey, wow. Excuse me. Hey! Hey! Hey, what the f what the f Why you can't oh and he can't open the door? The scene then moves to a house, where a family is seen preparing dinner and they don't look suspicious at all. The only thing that will surprise us is he when we see- He couldn't open the door, roll the window down, he couldn't do none of that shit? 
I don't know. I would have tried a little harder to kick that, to uh, break that damn window. Rex, who has already been kidnapped and tied in the basement of their house. Oh, shit. At this moment, Rex's hands are tied and one of his legs has been amputated. What the fuck? Rex, who has just realized this, tries to scream, but is stopped. Ayo, 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 ayo. I didn't know this was, I didn't know this was this, like, yo, we only, we only five minutes in. By someone. It turns out that the person is Rex's conscience, who tells him to keep his mouth shut. After what? that, he represents Rex to release his emotions by screaming for what has happened to him. In fact, his conscience appears to be smarter and more sadistic than he is, and it plays a significant role in both Rex's life and death. He can also analyze the situation of any incident that occurs to Rex, and the one that is currently taking place. After completing the observation, his conscience concludes that the perpetrators of his current incident are the strange husband and wife couple from the airport. Right. I when Rex is that. crying with his condition, his conscience can't stand it and starts thinking of ways to get out of there. However, because of the strength of the tie that binds his hands, his conscience has other plans for ensuring his survival. According to his conscience, if the perpetrator suddenly appears, he must pretend to be unconscious. Furthermore, after noticing a lots of bicycles around him, the alter ego assumes that the perpetrators who kidnapped him are a family. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, what is this music? Meanwhile, all of the family members have already gone to sleep on the upstairs. But the youngest child in the family named Olavi isn't yet asleep, and he is curious about their victim this time. Rex, who hasn't had enough time to untie the rope yet, tries to do so with his teeth. The young boy, on the other hand, decides to go down to the basement where Rex has been held. Mind your business. After mind, the young boy enters business. the room on the ground, Rex immediately pretends to be unconscious. Right. Rex then Smart. finds out that the person who came is just a child, so he comes up with a plan, which is to make the child as an insurance policy to get him out of that place. He tries to persuade Olavi to come close before kicking him in the face with his amputated leg and flanking him with both eyes. Not long after, his sister realizes that her little brother is not in bed, was so she decides to look for him in the basement. It turns out that this woman's name is Alia, and she is hey, the young girl yo. who has tried to run away from several men before this. This explains that it is her family who are kidnapping Rex at this time. At this point, Rex Wait, threatens good, to break the boy's neck if Alia attempts to kill him. But since Rex is too panic about his own safety, he accidentally let go of Olavi which makes him lose his guarantee to get out of there. When Olavi is found unconscious in the room, the psychopath family rushes him to the hospital. The mother then slaps Alia because she thought that Alia Damn. has hurt her little brother. At this point, we can conclude that Alia has a different nature than her family, and that she could be a great opportunity for Rex to get out of there. The opportunity is bolstered when Alia suddenly smiles and imagines herself married to Rex, which means Aww. that she is attracted to Rex at first sight. Since her family is in the hospital, Alia immediately goes downstairs to see Rex and begins to treat his leg. Alia then expresses her feelings to Rex. I'm okay. Alia. I like you. Oh. It is at this like point you. that she starts to tell the like story you. of how her family began to kidnap people and make them as food for her eldest brother. Hey, yo, I need to Since the birth of her first brother, he has already that. been suffering from a disorder that causes him to crave and eat the human flesh. This was proven mm. by the fact that he started biting his father when he was a baby. Therefore, since that incident, her family began to kidnap people to satisfy his eldest brother's hunger, although Alia didn't agree with it. When the older brother didn't really like the flesh Come of the person, on, they were forced Come to find on. another victim as a replacement. Night after night death came to Alia's life, and she had tried many times to run away from her family. But they were always able to track Alia down, until they imprisoned her in a wooden cage built by her father. This, After this, telling this the story, crazy. Alia begins to feel sorry for Rex and leaves the knife on the floor. She then asks Rex to take the knife himself. Why you just but cut when him Rex down? manages to get it and tries to cut the rope, Alia's three brothers suddenly appear and intend to execute Rex right away. Rex then immediately pretends to be unconscious, and his plan is successful because the brothers cancel their intention. Meanwhile, his personal conscience looks very angry and really wants to end their lives. We will soon see that this family of cannibals has chosen the wrong guy to be kidnapped. After that, they notice Rex's leg which has already been bandaged, and they immediately look for Alia in her room. But Alia turns out to be hiding in the basement, and she tries to get uh... out of there. 
Unfortunately, her brothers come back oh there and take her gosh. upstairs. After that, Rex is injected with some liquid which causes him oh, to suddenly laugh. Damn! <laughs> nah, now I'm turning into the Joker. We are then transported back to eight years ago, when Rex fought the robbers at the bank. We finally get to see how brutal Rex was when he slaughtered all of the robbers there. It is seen that his conscience was controlling him at that time, and with such a brutality, he managed to Damn. become a hero to all of the people there. Time to die, Hellboy. Finally, when Rex tried to save his lover, the robber is frightened by the fact that Rex didn't care who's gonna die there. After Maddie was released, Rex, influenced by his own ego then shot the robber, and the robber's weapon accidentally fired into a cupboard. My leg! Unfortunate thing happened when a bank employee who was hiding inside the cupboard died due to the fired gun. So this is the reason why Rex was sentenced to eight years in prison, mm. for allegedly sacrificing other people's lives to satisfy his desires. Wow. Plus, since Rex's sentence is too long, Maddie, who had been saved by him, decided to end their relationship because she didn't want to waste her time waiting for him to be released. We then return wow. to Rex, when he regains consciousness, he notices that his leg is being cut off Come by on. the psychopath Come on, at that bro. moment. He then kicks the psychopath, which causes the psycho rushes off to get an anesthetic. At the same time, Rex tries to cut the rope that binds his hands with the knife from Alia. When the man returns off, to him, bro. Rex quickly stabs the knife into his ear canal. Can I even show, can I show this Without Twitch, wasting bro? any time, he is now looking for some tools and weapons needed to escape from there. Fortunately, he finds some tools that will be very useful to him in the next scene. Rex tries his best to get to the top floor, Relying Damn. on the golf club he has attached to his leg. After he manages to get out of the basement, his conscience tells him to bring Alia out of the house as well. Rex then walks out of the house and he thinks about the words of his conscience again. It appears that they have made a decision about what they will do next after this. When both parents came home from the hospital, they are shocked by the blood stains in front of their house. At this moment, it turns out that their sons have just awoken from their sleep. Their parents then gather them and scold them for letting Rex escape. Fearing that Rex would come back with the police, they plan to move out of the house. But it looks like their plan will fail. What the fuck? It turns out that Rex has been waiting for them under the table, and he kills them what one by the one hell? using a nail gun. As Rex tries to shoot the mother, the nail bullets run out, and he kicks the mother in the head with a golf club attached Damn. to the amputated leg. When her son sees the incident, he tries to attack Rex but Rex quickly throws a knife into his body, causing him to die. Alia then kills her own mother who has just woken up from unconsciousness. Oh, nah, Rex and Alia going After all of this crazy. horrific incident, Boy, it turns out that they are still not free because they still have to face Alia's eldest cannibal brother. Her brother eventually appears, going down the stairs with his big body. What like the fuck? What the hell? Why you even say shit about this nigga? In the end, Rex and the cannibal fight each other. And when Rex manages to cling to the refrigerator door, he sees that there is a piece of his right leg inside. What As a result, the fuck? he looks happy because it turns out that his right leg still hasn't been eaten by the cannibal. That's why you're happy? Oh my god, this nigga is He going then crazy. takes his right leg and immediately thrusts it into the cannibal's mouth. Oh, that's disgusting. After it is all over, Rex takes Alia back to America, where they decide to live together there. One night, Rex and Alia nah, are seen to... hanging out at a place with their friends. She turned but out crazy. But one of their friends seems interested in Rex which makes Alia jealous. At this moment, it turns out that Alia also has the same alter ego as Rex. Huh? She imagines about killing the woman who makes her jealous. Hey this shows yo! That the two of them are a perfect match since they have almost similar alter egos. What the fuck? Meanwhile, in another place, the youngest child from Alias family who has recovered from the injury and tends to avenge the death of his family. And with that, the film ends. Okay, guys, that's all the recap for what? Hell 2020. Thanks for watching. Uh, 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 so, so this nigga, this nigga turns into Batman, huh?
she about to go fucking bro nah bro what damn what the hell what in the plot twist now nah, that was a w plot twist though i'm not gonna lie that had that threw me that threw me for a loop like i i didn't expect that shit at all I don't really give a fuck what a bitch say Work to my wrist pay Step inside my dojo when I show you I'm the sensei Miss saying I've been great This ain't new Knock the pussy out the park just like I'm Babe Ruth